The Japanese beetle response yard debris dump site opened this week in Grandview. The Department of Agriculture is asking people in the infested areas to bring yard waste there. Jessica Perez has why. You've probably heard that Japanese beetles are wreaking havoc here on the agricultural community in Grandview, but there's a way for you to step in to help to prevent them from spreading to other places. If you're in the 49 square mile radius infested by the beetles, you can bring your grass clippings and other yard debris here for free to 875 Bridgeview Road in Grandview. It's open Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. The idea behind the dumping site is to keep bugs from traveling into uncontaminated areas. If we took just two outside of the area and they can mate and, um, and lay more eggs, then, then we have more of a problem. Once the debris is here, workers will find a way to make sure they take care of the beetles. Just how, they're not sure of yet, either with heat or a wood chipper. This Grandview resident in the infestation area says she normally burns her debris if it's a small amount, but her husband would dump large amounts in Sela before the beetles took over. But if one is closer here now, that's actually better for us. Betts tells me the dump site is the preferred way to get rid of yard waste. Fires could be ineffective and go awry. Even if you got your yard treated in spring, you should still dump your waste at the site. The results of spring treatment won't be seen until the beetles lay their eggs again. Dumping yard debris here is optional, but the Department of Agriculture is proposing a quarantine in this area. If it passes, taking yard debris to the dump site would be required. Salas tells me she'd be in favor of a quarantine. Pues si es algo que es muy, muy, como le digo? If it's something that's very, very dangerous, that's necessary, yes. We've done it up to now with the COVID pandemic and saw that that was effective. A public hearing is scheduled for August 2nd for the proposed quarantine. We've done extensive coverage on the Japanese beetle problem here in Grandview, which you can find on our website, NBCRightNow.com. In Grandview, Jessica Perez, NBC Right Now.